What's up, y'all? Happy Sunday to you. I hope y'all having a blessed one out there. Thank you for tuning in for another episode over here of Model Cars and Coffee, hosted by Paul of Left Coast Model Car Builds. Let's get straight into it. Now, this episode is going to be a valuable lesson about doing a great prep and thinking about everything, including your aftermarket parts. Now, my plan for this Dodge Demon was to install an incredible Hellcat motor, 6.2 liter, over 700 horsepower. But this is the issue. I didn't realize it until after I did a mock-up too late and it doesn't fit. You see that? I don't know what in the world I was thinking of knowing I was going to install this engine, but I forgot to mock up my hood. So anytime you add an aftermarket engine into a vehicle, you got to do a good mock-up on that hood. I did an excellent mock-up on my hood when it came to my 72 Chevy truck when I installed that 572 big block, but it just slipped my mind. On this one, I forgot to do a mock-up. But all is not lost. Let's pull this engine out of here. Now this is the factory engine that came in here, the 340 V8 with some slight modifications to it. I added an air filter, Edelbrock, and a Holly four barrel carburetor. I got both of these great products from mcvproducts.net. Now we're gonna see if all that hard work was worth it. I did smooth down the carburetor and the bottom of the air filter to flatten it out a little bit. And I wanna make sure that this one clears. We all about to see for the first time. <laughs> Does it clear? Wow, it cleared, it cleared. That is a relief, a bit of good news. <laughs> We got some challenging news down here in Florida. As y'all know, Hurricane Milton, that they're forecasted to turn into a hurricane, is heading this way. Uh, I'm not from Florida, I'm from Tennessee, as y'all know. But even though I'm not from Tennessee, I'm starting to get kind of used to these storms, to pay attention. Don't freak out and get nervous like I used to. <laughs> I mean, the first time me and my nephew, my late nephew, we uh, evacuated the whole state. We went all the way back home to Nashville. When they were talking about that Category 5 was coming in. And if a Category 5 comes again, I'm probably going to do the same thing. Probably won't go all the way to Nashville, but I will evacuate. But just keep us in your prayers down here. If anybody in the state of Florida, you know, one of my model car builders, one of my buddies. I know uh, we got Mike, we got Joe, and some more that are from Florida. If y'all need anything, y'all just reach out to me. But I'm very happy that this engine fits. I think it looks good in here. And this week, definitely this week, probably the next couple of days, I'm going to go ahead and drop part two of the Demon. And it's going to be about this engine and how it came to be. Now, all is not lost when it comes to this Hellcat engine. Let me show you what I'm thinking about doing. This is what I want to put the Hellcat engine into. This beautiful 68 Road Runner. I think I've explained before why this was close to my heart. I never saw this car in person when my parents had it. It was before my time. I wasn't even born yet. But they used to talk about this 68 Road Runner they own all the time. And uh, during that time, my uncle owned the 67 Plymouth GTX. That's the one he split in half. It was mad because he just filled it up with a full tank of gas. Let's go back through my archives and y'all can get the full story about my uncle's 67 GTX. But this AMT 68 Road Runner, I think this is the prime candidate for this big 6.2 liter Hellcat motor. Well, thank y'all for tuning in. Let's get to building.